today we are going to prep the Harley for paint. I'm actually kind of sick of this color. I didn't really like orange to begin with, but when I got the bike, I wanted to get the black, but they're like, we don't have the black. My, my Oregon trip is coming up in a couple weeks, so I need to get a bike because when you get a new bike, you get a, there's like a break-in period, like, a, like 500 miles. So I was like, I don't got time. Just give me this one. So yeah, I'm kind of tired of orange. So we're going to take apart everything. We're going to take off the paint. We're going to fix some dents. I know I got a dent here, got a dent there. Uh, we're going to fix the dent. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. You ready to go to the warehouse? Let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to be taking over the vlog. We're going to get one final roller of Vu's bike with this color. You ready, Emmy? What a good girl. Okay, Emmy, since I'm going to be driving the Supra, you're going to have to film the rollers for Vu, okay? Hey, Emmy's filming rollers for you. Clips are a little shaky. It's Emmy's first time filming rollers. Right, Emmy? Good job. All right, guys, say goodbye to this orange paint. Randy had a really good idea. He told me to mask off this black right here, or gray. So when I paint it, it'll be the color, and it'll be this. So I'll still have the stripe, and then I'll have my new color. So I think that's what we're doing. I'm gonna mask this off as well, so it'll be my color and a stripe. And in the front, um, I'm gonna get rid of that stripe. I don't really like it. All right, first things first, let's get off all these fucking bungees. I really love my sissy bar. I don't have the space like a car, but I don't know. I still love it. I like strapping all my stuff to the back of my motorcycle. It's so sick. And seats coming off. rear fender is off and you know what this actually looks pretty badass if only I had like one of those leather seats with the springs underneath that would actually look pretty dope what do you guys think uh, no bobber build on this Harley on this channel or maybe sometime in the future but we're not doing any kind of build on the sh on the Harley just yet yeah the fender is off rear fender uh, that was actually not that bad I think the front is gonna be way easier yeah. Oh, what the fuck? This shit's hella loose. Imagine if this came loose on the freeway. Sketch. I think what's holding the front fender is just like these two bolts. So, let me take this out real quick, guys. All right, guys. The funny thing is, all four bolts were actually super loose. And as you can see, I tried to wrap the Harley before, like white, but it didn't really work out. I left some of the wrap on there. It wasn't visible. All right, so we got the front fender off, rear fender off, and now we're gonna take off the gas tank. So up next, we are gonna take out the two bolts that hold down the gas tank. So there's one right here, one right there in the front. Uh, there's also a couple more things we gotta do. We gotta detach the fuel line, and I think this one, I just watched a couple videos. Basically, you kinda just push this up, and the fuel line should come off right here where you see the red and yellow wire we gotta find out where it's going and i think it's behind this cover right here we gotta go behind this cover unplug it bring it back up and then i think after we do all that 
uh, we can take out the gas tank. So let's start off by, oh, I wonder if any fuels can come out here. This is the bleeder, or not the bleeder, the breather. Okay, cool. All right, so that's out. Let's see if we get this cover off. I'm gonna need two hands. All right, I found a better tool. Oh, shit. Cool, we got it out. Up next, let's find out where this wire is going. It's right here, I got it. One second. Let's go over what we did so far. So we got out the vacuum or the breather for the gas tank. We got the connection to the gas tank. Uh, I'm not too sure what this does. Maybe it tells maybe it, it sh tells me that I'm running out of gas. Because why would a gas tank have connections? Because the fuel pump, well, unless the fuel pump's in there. I don't know, whatever. It could be the fuel pump. Because this is totally different from my shadow. Okay, so we got this out. I'm going to take out the fuel line last. Let's take out these bolts. And then, uh... Yeah, I hope we don't spill gas everywhere. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. I feel like I destroyed my bike. But everything should go back on easily. That was, it wasn't that bad. I'm not even sweating. But it's pretty crazy. The shadow actually has a uh, double backbone design. So it goes from here, two backbones, and then it comes down. The Harleys have a single backbone. And uh, that thing is fucking massive. I can imagine like, like drilling a hole somewhere right here and then kind of just putting all my lines with inside of this tube and have it come out and stuff like that. So we could like, you know, hide all the lines. Like, look at this. This is like super ugly. If we can hide this somehow, that would be so crazy. So I decided to, I already told you this, but I'm gonna get rid of this uh, gray stripe stripe right here. Uh, I was originally gonna keep that, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that as well. I'm just gonna leave the stripe on the tank. So everything else is gonna be one color. First thing we gotta do is pull out this badge. I don't think it's gonna be an easy task with just my fingers. Usually I like to use some kind of like floss, but we don't have any floss here, so I might have to go look for something else. You know what? I'm trying to use a, uh, I'm trying to use like a like a debit card or something. So let's see if that works. I'm not gonna have my debit card all over the internet, so I got this circus circus card from my last trip to Reno, and look at that, it works. Kinda. Oh no, it works really good. see this damn that's crazy damn guys look at that tape job way better than the first time so we ran out of time sun's coming down so tomorrow we're gonna hit this with the sandpaper this orange is actually pretty nice but like I said I'm not a huge fan of orange so let's do it It's going down, guys. Oh, this shit stinks. All right, that's good enough for now. We're probably gonna have to do a couple runs, but I'm gonna leave that here for 45 minutes and let the magic happen. All right, rear and front fender has been blasted with aircraft. 
paint stripper. So now let's go fix that. Uh, let's go fix that crack right here. Or not a crack. Let's fix his dent. Damn guys, Harley actually has some like really freaking tough paint. Look at that. Only the black strip is coming off. Huh. Usually this thing works. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit it one more time with another layer of the, the paint remover. <laughs> what the hell, it's still hard. Hmm. All right, let me just, let me give it one more layer. The aircraft didn't really work so well, so I went ahead and just did the same thing to the front fender. The rear fender though, the rear fender is a little, a little complicated. It's, it's metal, but it's kind of like flimsy. So I was trying to sand it, but then, um, I think it's gonna take me a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw another layer of the uh, aircraft on there, and hopefully the paint comes off. All right, time for Bondo, as you guys can see. I cleaned up the area a little bit, so hopefully there's no dust in there. For today, we are using some body filler right here. We're not gonna use too much. I got the cream hardener right here and our little mixing plate. So we're not gonna use too much. Um, in one second. All right, honestly, I think this is pretty overkill, but yeah, we don't even need that much. Should have done like at least half of that, but oh well. Time for the cream hardener. If you guys put too much, your Bondo is gonna dry like pretty much instantly. If you guys put too little, it's gonna take, oh shit, what the fuck, it's like water. All right, let me mix this real quick. Like I was saying, if you guys add too much, it's going to dry too fast. If you guys add too little, it's not gonna dry at all. I think I added too much. Fuck. Bondo is on, it's drying up already. So that's what happens when you add too much, it dries up, so. All right, now we give it about, I'll give it about an hour to dry. This is why you guys put tape on your spatulas. Oh, look at that, brand new. Let's see if the aircraft done anything. Mm, not yet. Sanding's all done. This one is down to bare metal. Don't ask me why we went bare metal with this and not with these. Um, it's a long story, but anyways, it's ready for paint, so we're gonna primer, and then, uh, yeah, let's do it. Yes, sir. Let me take a quick look. All right, guys. Primer is all done. What is that? Oh, that's just tape. I thought the paint. I thought the primer was coming off. Primer is all done. First layer. I want to add one more layer because I want to be able to sand down all the imperfections without worrying about sanding too far into the primer. So we are gonna come back tomorrow with the second cam. All right, guys. We are back with day 263. Finally got the second primer coat on. I'm just going around and checking all my little imperfections. I already got a little, I had a little like little bumps here and there. I sanded down. I know on this side I got um, paint drip. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's like right there. Uh, it's right there. Uh, so I'm gonna go over and sand it one more time because if you guys throw paint over this, it will show, so uh, I'm just running my hand around it, make sure there's no bumps, no nothing. So far, so good. 
Uh, let's go over to the front fender. This one doesn't really need too much sanding. But it is. You know what? I might just leave this one alone. Because it's a little rough. But that's. I think it's just enough for the paint to stick to. There's no cracks, no bumps. So I think this one is good. Let's come over to this one. I did a little wet sanding as you guys can see. There was like a couple bumps here and there. I didn't check on this side. Okay, I can see some bumps right here. Some bumps right here. So I'm just gonna go around, wet sand everything until it's perfect. Time to paint. Let's go. Have you showed them the color yet? Nope. All right, let's show them that right, right now. now. Check this out. Who's new color? Give me a sec. This might take a... There you go. Shine a light in that bitch. Oh, shit. There you go. I have some extra paint from my S14. You know what? We can just show them, bro. All right, here, check this out. So this is what it's going to look like. Mm. Not bad, huh? No, it looks good. All right, Way let's better than orange. Damn. Dude, I did pretty Shit, good dude. on this. <laughs> That's, this is before clear too, so as soon as it clears up, it'll like haze up like this. Uh -huh. And then when you hit the clear, it's gonna be hopefully even better than that. This looks way better than the orange already. All right guys, up next, clear coat. We still have some Super Baller 2K Show Clear that we were supposed to use on our other car, but we have a little bit left, and I think it's more than enough for booze, so. I guess time to mix. For the clear coat, it's a two to one ratio. For this one at least. So two parts. Oh, we'll do two parts clear. Oh, good. All right, right here. Ready? That's nah. the activator. You know what it does? Activates. You're right. <laughs> all right, guys, little update. Clear coat is all done, but we kind of messed up. We spilled some acetone on the rear fender. So I don't That's my fault. It's cool. It's, it's both of our faults. We shouldn't have left it on the table. But uh, check this one out, though. Yeah, let's look at this one. This one Ooh. looks amazing. Look at that. Ooh, that was actually the best piece, but I messed up. Let's see if you guys can see it. I think for this, we're gonna have to let the clear coat completely dry, wet sand it down, and then apply another coat on the gas tank. We did have little drips right here on the left side of the tank so we are fixing that right now i think we're gonna add one more layer of red and then call it a day bad news we got some more drip so we're gonna we're gonna continue this tomorrow fast forward two days we finally finished the paint job and it turned out freaking amazing you guys ready to see this Woo! damn we put a fat layer of clear coat on there turned out super nice everything is super shiny right here the lines came out amazing but unfortunately I do have some drips right here but I think what we can do is wet sand this once it's fully like fully fully dry I'll give like two more days once it's fully dry we can wet sand and then buff it out but the line turned out or the stripe the stripe came out amazing we don't see any orange it came out perfectly I purposely went over or onto the black line as much as I can just so that it won't show any orange so it came out good I'm super happy on that I cannot wait to see this on the bike so I think that's the only thing we got left to do let's put everything back together and uh, let's go take her for a ride all done everything's put back together damn that is sick for sure we gotta get rid of these reflectors right here uh, what else we gotta get rid of I think, that's, I think that's about it. Damn, that looks hella nice. Let's bring her outside underneath the sun. I actually need to get a tank of gas. I need to pump some gas into this as well. Yeah, what do you guys think? You know what, let me pull it outside first and then uh, let's see if it looks better in the sun. We are outside and the bike looks freaking crazy. I love it. I, I think what I gotta do is make all my blacks like more black. 
because all the, my black just kind of look a little faded. So maybe if I polish it or I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. But woo, that looks so good. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm happy with it. Now we can finally take the bike around. I think I'm gonna run it without the sissy bar for now. Honestly, I should have. I should have cut my rear fenders a little bit, but yeah, oh well. All right, guys, just gave her a full tank of gas. She rides amazing still. It's been a minute. Well, only two weeks, but yeah, I'm happy. Um, paint came out amazing. I kind of wish it was a little darker, but you know what? It looks amazing. It's way better than orange. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. We are finally done with this project. Well, we're finally done with painting. It took me so long to do this, about like a week and a half. So now we can focus on other things like the Honda Shadow. We are going to do the hardtail conversion on it as soon as possible. Uh, I got handlebars at home, so we're going to throw the handlebars on. And my gas tank should be coming in real soon. So if you guys are curious what gas tank I got, it's pretty similar to this. So I'm going to have the same gas tank but on my Shadow. I have new fenders coming in and a sissy bar for the Shadow as well. So I think that is it. Once I save up just a little bit more money, guys, I'm going to go with a new handlebar. Uh, new handlebars for this. I'm not too sure what I'm getting just yet. There's so many choices online that you know it's hard to choose. So finally, we're done. Now I can put this bike aside and we can work on the shadow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys like the new paint job. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.